friends! Welcome to One and All Kids. Our new series this month is called Whole in One. This month is all about how God has a plan for us. We get to look at some amazing Bible stories that show us God's plan. Let's go! Hi friends! Today, our special song is Zacchaeus Was a Wee Little Man. I'm excited to sing it with you. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed on up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And when the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. For I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. Great job, let's do it again. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed on up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And when the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. For I'm going to your house today. For I'm going to your house today. Bye, friends. Hey, everyone. Let's get on up and worship Jesus with some praise songs. Our first song is called Wherever He Goes. When I just don't know the way that I should go. we go. Now we get to sing our next song called Perfect. God, you are the best. You don't make mistakes. Yeah, you don't make mistakes. And when things are a mess, you always know Oh, 
so I don't have to worry. You're p -p 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 perfect when I don't know. job friends we have one more song at the end of service but for now it's time to grab your bible grab a seat and get ready to learn with us hey everyone my name is Pastor Julian, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys and with our friend Albert. Hey everyone, it's good to be back with you again. What are we learning about today? Today, we get to learn about God's plan for a big, big boat with lots and lots of room for animals. Whoa, that's so cool. Is, is that what all those pictures are for? Yes, they are. Here we have an imaginary big boat and an imaginary small boat. So let's see if we, along with our friend's help, can sort these animals. Big ones go in the imaginary big boat and small ones go in the imaginary small boat. I don't see them. Well, you have to use your imagination. Oh, hold on. Oh, there they are. That's so cool. Okay, let's get started. All right, first off, we have the alligator. Is the alligator a big animal for our imaginary big boat, or is it a small animal for our imaginary small boat? Uh, it looks small. I'm bigger than that alligator. That's true, but in real life, is an alligator really big or really small? Oh, those things are huge. They go in the big boat. Yeah, I think, I think so too. Alligator, imaginary, big boat. All right, this one is a bunny rabbit. Ooh. Is it made of chocolate? <laughs> Not quite. I think can this I is a real. It? I think this is a real bunny rabbit. <laughs> oh, those things are small and cute. You can fit them inside of a house. Yeah, you can probably fit one inside of the palm of your hand if you're lucky. You can probably fit several inside your house. Like at least 300. Maybe. So maybe they're small. Let's put them in the small boat. Good idea. Oh, this one's so cute. It's a cat. Meow. That's a good cat impression. Meow. I think most cats are probably smaller than Meow. me and you. So let's put it in the small boat. Meow. <laughs> oh, this one's a whale. Whales aren't supposed to go whale? in boats. They're supposed to stay outside of the boats. That's true. So that means a whale is probably so big, it doesn't even fit in our imaginary big boat. So we'll say it's even bigger. We'll just imagine the boat is big enough for the whale and that it has a swimming pool. Well, yeah, we'll imagine like a big cruise ship. Yeah. Like an aquarium in the inside. Perfect. All right, this one's a turtle. Oh, that's, a wait. Galapagos turtles are pretty big, but I think it's still smaller than me, so small boat. Yeah, small boat, I agree. This is our last one. It is a penguin. Are we talking little penguin, emperor penguin? Yeah, he looks kind of cute. So maybe he's like a little baby. Little small baby. boat, small yeah. boat for sure. I think small boat. All right, that's all our animals. Great job, friends. We got all the animals sorted into their boats. Now we can hear a true Bible story from Ollie about one really, 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 really big boat. So. That's a big boat. It is a really big boat. But on the count of three, everyone yell Ollie with us. Ready? One, one two, two, three. Ollie! Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. understand what oh hola friends i'm luis the handyman great to see you 
Have you ever tried to fix something or build something or learn something, but you just didn't understand how to do it? Yep, me too. <laughs> I'm trying to fix this windmill, and I've never done this before. Well, today's story is all about following the plan, even when you don't understand. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Noah. <laughs> Noah loved and trusted God, even when no one else did. Noah always tried to do what God said and followed his plans. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat and to fill it with his family and two of every kind of animal in the world. <laughs> Wait, what? Noah, have you ever built a boat before? You haven't? Uh, Noah, do you think people are going to understand? You don't? Oh, do you still trust God, Noah? Yes! So Noah got to work following God's plans. Hmm. Now, what did God tell Noah to do first? Build a... <gasps> boat! That's right! And did God want it to be a big boat or a little boat? Oh, that's right, a big boat. Now stretch out your arms and show me how big you think God wanted the boat to be. Whoa, oh, that's really big. Wow, okay, okay, you can put your arms down now. And you are right. God wanted the boat to be really big. Now let's help Noah build the boat. Now, everyone, get out your pretend saws. Ready? Okay, now we're gonna saw back and forth on the count of three. Really fast. Ready? One, two, three. And stop. Woo! That was hard work. <laughs> Great job, little builders. Now Noah and his family worked and worked to build the boat, just like God told him to. Oh look, the boat is finished. Hooray, great job Noah. <laughs> Everyone clap for him. <laughs> that was hard work. Now that the boat is finished, what did God tell Noah to put in the boat? Let's listen. Huh? Animals? Here they come! Oh, oh! What are these? Rabbits! Yes! He put rabbits in the boat. And what are these? Yes! Penguins! They went in the boat. <laughs> and what are these? Alligators! <laughs> and lions! And snakes! And monkeys! And flamingos! Wow! <laughs> Look at all of them! God sent two of every animal and put them in the boat with Noah and his family. And then God shut the door and it began to rain. Can you help me make it rain? Pat your legs like this. <laughs> Good. 
Well, it rained and it rained, and the whole earth was covered with water. Noah kept trusting God's plans. And you can too. You can always trust God's plans, even when you don't understand or even when it's hard. You can trust God because God has plans for you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you later. Adios. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's right. Let's see how well we remember our story from today. If you know the answers to our questions, shout out the answers. I love it when our friends help us. Okay, my first question is, was our story today about a man named Norman? Or was it about a man named Noah? Hmm, those are pretty similar. Oh, but I think our friends are shouting it out. It's Noah, that's right. What did God tell Noah to build? Was it a really big boat or a really big statue? Oh, the boat, a huge boat. Then God told Noah to fill the boat. Did he fill the boat with water or did he fill the boat with animals? Hmm, both of those seem a little bit problematic, but just like our friend said, he filled it with animals, two of every kind. Once the boat was full, something happened. Did everything start to catch on fire or did it start raining? Well, nothing's on fire right now. And everyone else is saying it's raining. So it rained. It rained and 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 it rained till the whole earth was covered with water. That's a lot of water. <laughs> Great job, everyone. This is so much fun. Who has plans for you? God has plans for me. One of my favorite ways to remember that God has plans for me is by saying our memory verse. It comes from Jeremiah 29, 11, and it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. I love that verse. Can can our friends say it too so that they can memorize it with us? Of course they can. Friends, on the count of three, say our memory verse with us. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. For I know the, the plans, plans I have, I have for, for you, says the Lord. Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. Nice. That was great. Keep practicing so you will always remember it. Now it's time for our big pause. This is the time when we pause our bodies and our minds and think about who God is and what he does in our lives. Pause the video and take some time to think about this question. When was a time that you made big plans? Answer this question with your friends around you when we pause. Here comes our big pause in three, Two, one, big pause. Nice, our big pause is so fun. Those are some great answers too. Now we're gonna close our time by praying. You can pause the video and talk with your friends about prayer requests, or you can pray along with us. Prayer is when we get to talk with God. It's a fun time to share with him about anything and everything in our lives. So. Let's close our eyes and pray together. Dear God, thank you for Noah and how Noah trusted you. You had plans for Noah and you have plans for us too. Help us to trust you. Thank you so much for all that we've learned. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. See you later, everyone. See you next time. God has plans for me and he has plans for you too. I want to say thank you to God for having a plan for my life. I can do that by giving my offering. Giving our offering means giving the very best of what we have back to God so that He can do amazing things with it. If I have 10 golf clubs, 
I want to give my very best back to God. We can do the same with our offering money. If I have $10, we want to give the very first dollar back to Him so that He can do amazing things with it. You can talk to your parents and leaders about giving your offering today. Now, it's time to get up on our feet because it's worship time. Let's sing our next song together. It's called, God is with me. Sometimes I like to go outside. Sometimes I like to run and hide. But I know all the time, all the time, you are with me, always with me because worshiping and I can't wait to do it again next time. Don't forget to come back next week and invite some friends to come with you too. Until then, I want to send you into the week with one hope, one life in Christ. Bye everyone!